Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fifth grade concept of graphing on a coordinate plane. This is standard 5.8c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 26 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a table of ordered pairs. We've got five X's, we've got five Y's, and we simply need to find it on one of these four graphs. But as you can see, our X's are going to be pretty tricky because look at they are all mixed numbers. So they've got two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, and six and a half. So that looks pretty regular. So let's just take a look and see if we can match up any of these graphs to these ordered pairs and we'll just start right here with two and a half comma five so if we wanted to put that in an ordered pair it would kind of look like this so that's the first point on each of these graphs so let's just find that on each of these graphs so here is f we've got two and a half and we've got five right there so i'm going to put a check mark that is looking good and then we're seeing the same thing on H here, two and a half. There's five. That's kind of confusing because on the on the X axis, they're skip counting by ones. So look at this. They're skip counting by ones. That's the scale factor. But then up here, they're actually skip counting on the Y axis by two. So that's why this is kind of confusing. And that's a trick. Oh, look at G. Two and a half, five. G, this first one is looks like this is 1, 5. So this one is incorrect. So G is already out of it. And let's take a look at J. We've got 2.5 right there. We've got 5, so that's looking good. All right, so we've knocked one out already. Let's look at our next one. 3.5, 7. So take a look at F. 3.5 should be right there, but it's actually on the 4. So it's on 4, 6. Look at this right there. That's on 4, 6. That's not anywhere close. So we've knocked out G. We've knocked out F. So I've got my 3.5 right here on H. That's looking good. 7. Okay, so H still looking good. We're going to skip over G. And let's see what J looks like. So I've got my 3.5 is right there. And my 7, yeah, so J is looking good and H is looking good. And I'm just going to kind of draw some big X's so I don't forget those. F and G are gone. So let's take a look at this third dot, 4 and a half, comma, 9. So our X coordinate, we're going to the right first, is 4 and a half. So that should be right there between 4 and 5. So that is good on H. And our y coordinate is 9 between 8 and 10. So it's looking pretty good right there. I'm going to put a sorry, bigger check mark on H. Let's check J. So I've got 4.5. And, and it's looking good right there. 9 between 8 and 10. Yeah, so we're looking good. All right, so it might come down to one of the last two here. So I've got 5.5, 11 for my next Let's see, five and a half is right there. 11 is right there. So H, the first four are good. And let's see what we've got right here. Uh, we got five and a half. And then we've got 11. So J is looking good as well. So this is it. We're coming down to the very last one. Six and a half, 13. So this is... This shows you how much work it takes to solve one of these star problems. You can't just eyeball it. you got to work through every single set of X and Y coordinates. So H is 6.5 right there between 6 and 7. My 13 is right there, and it does meet those two. So H is looking good. Look at J. 6.5 is right there. Ah, oh, look. It's on the 7. Visually, it's kind of hard to see. It's on the 7, and it's on the 14. Look, it's on the 7, 14. That's incorrect. The answer is H.